Hi, Mark Burnett on the Island Generation. Make sure you subscribe. The latest thing today was 23andMe. Yeah, 23andMe.com. That's a genetic site. I joined it a long time ago, and it's pretty cool. Uh, you just take a little swab of your saliva, send it into them, and all of a sudden they go, hey, here's all your genetic traits. Uh, here's some problems you could run into, uh, some medical issues, things like that. And unfortunately, 23andMe uh, got beat on by the government by giving out medical advice. Hmm. Wow. I hate it when we don't embrace technology, okay? But 23andMe, October 2015, has actually won that battle uh, with the government and said, well, we, we can, and they agree that the new technology should be embraced. In the meantime, you know, a couple hundred thousand people died probably uh, uh, not knowing something they probably should have. But the point being that now you can join that you can get all sorts of medical information, some possibilities, some situations that might come up. And all it's saying, and this is important, it doesn't say, oh, I'm going to get cancer. It doesn't say, oh, I'm going to get diabetes. It's going to say the majority of people with this genetic trait get diabetes. The, the majority of people with this uh, genetic trait, let's say, um, have the ability when they have high cholesterol to have more heart attacks, something of that order. So you can take that data and go, wow, I need to be paying a little bit more attention to this uh, and really watch this. It doesn't mean you can ignore all the other things. You need to, from a medical standpoint, try to keep everything in a good situation uh, and try to stay in the norms as much as possible. But as you and I know, that's just, 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 just almost impossible. Okay, I have to stop and get a, a snack uh, those Dorito bags are really good with flavor, and those chips are fantastic. And, eh, you know, there's the couch football game. You know, we'll, we'll, yeah. <laughs> That's who we are. But, now I'm not going to change diet. You're not going to change diet. This world's, this country's been going on a diet forever, and you know what? <laughs> we have diet sodas, we have diet plans, we have this and calorie intakes and all this kind of stuff. And guess what? The overall weight of Americans has increased almost every single year. So how could you implement all these programs and the weight go up? It means it doesn't work. That's what it means. It's simple. Okay. So I look at it from a different standpoint. I look at it from, I'm probably going to gain weight because I live here and I eat these kind of foods and they're all over the place. And so what I have to look at from a medical standpoint, well, how do I take care of these things? What kind of medicines do I need to take? What do I need to do that will help? My doctor will say jog. Yeah, then my knees go bad, okay? Because I have too much weight that I'm jogging on with these knees that are now gonna be my next problem. So I, I look more at medical benefits. And 23andMe, I think represents a way for you at least to get an idea uh, of uh, some genetic traits that you have from your relatives, from your past, from a past grandma. Uh, it shows you where in the world you came from. And more interestingly than most people might realize, it also shows you, if you want to be part of it, uh, your cousins that you didn't know you had and other people you didn't know you had because everyone who donates to this, they allow that information to be shared if you want. Okay, and when you share that information, if you decide to do so, then you can see all your other relatives, which is pretty cool. Okay, uh, not that I want to give them any money, no, but nevertheless. So anyway, genetics23andme.com, you might want to check out. And also, subscribe to our ch channel, uh, The Island Generation, so that you can keep up to date on what I'm talking about. I'm going to talk about news all the time that comes up that might be unique to uh, baby boomers. And we're also, baby boomers are going to be headed off to probably joining me uh, on a nice island somewhere, enjoying life, because that's what I'm going to do, and build a good-sized facility, and I'm hoping that a lot of you will come with me. Hey, let's do it.